everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, today, stroke tomorrow, stroke yesterday, you are going to be coming with me on probably the longest journey of my life. It's currently 6.30 a.m. and I am in Seoul, South Korea in Incheon Airport. Um, I'm traveling home back to London Heathrow. I've been up since 4 a.m. and I've only had two hours sleep because that's how it is when you're on holiday, you know how it is. My cousin has just gone to check in her bag because I was here with my two cousins. She lives in China and her flight is an hour before mine. I just tried to check in over at the gate over there and I couldn't see any British Airways flights so I panicked. I was like, oh my god, am I in the right terminal? And the woman, go the woman goes to me, yeah, your flight is at 10.30 so it's not actually up yet so you can't check in. So I'm going to go back now and find my cousin and like I said, you're going to be joining me on the longest, longest journey of my life. And I purely say that is because your girl has a wedding to go to as soon as she touches down. So I am not going to be able to get any sleep, any rest. God knows how many hours I'm going to be awake for. Hence the reason why I've got my glasses on and no makeup. It's going to be hilarious. It's a 12 hour flight back to London. So I hope you enjoy with me. So I just checked in my bag. It was exactly 23.9 kg. My limit was 23. So they kind of allow you a little bit here and there. So I was lucky. I've dropped off my beloved cousin who's now on her way to China. So I'm on my own here. The time is currently 7.51. I think I'm gonna go and get some food before I have to give back my Wi-Fi little tablet thing that they give you because obviously my normal connection doesn't work in this country. So a lot of people tend to rent Wi-Fi, which is exactly what I did. And then I need to eat something because I've not eaten. I need the loo. I am so tired. I swear to God, as soon as I get on this plane, I'm gonna just knock out. You know you're in a more advanced part of the world when there's a robot wandering around. England is so behind. I don't know why the UK thinks it's so advanced. Look at this business now. Look at me following it like a stalker. <laughs> it's had the most vilest veggie Quizno sub to eat. Everything in Korea has ham in it. I don't understand. There must be Koreans that don't like pork. Like I went to this one place and it says cheese and chicken. So I said to the guy, is it ham? He said, yeah. So I said, why don't you write on there cheese, chicken and ham? Anything that has ham never actually says ham on it. It says everything else but ham, so you always have to ask. So I had to have some dusty Quiznos sub that didn't even taste nice. Then I had a paranoid moment that I'd left one of my GoPro batteries in my suitcase and in Korea you're not allowed to have any battery packs or batteries or anything in your checked in luggage. So there's me paranoid, oh my god, they're gonna destroy my bag. So I went to the BA desk and the woman said, don't worry. It is all fine. I was like, are you sure? Like, my Korean skincare is safe here. She was like, completely. I was like, oh, thank God for that. But check out this airport, man. This place is so pretty. around get to my gate get through security and start preparing myself oh I still need to buy something for my niece while I'm here the baby I need to buy something soft and cuddly because one and a half year olds don't really do much other than scribble on things and play with other people's stuff all right so I'm through security is it just me or do every time you go through security the people there they just make you feel really uncomfortable like you've got something on you that you shouldn't even though you know you're cool but it's just the way that they look you up and down they don't smile they barely say hello everyone just looks miserable and that's just like universal throughout all airports like i understand you don't get no daylight in here but come on man a little hello smile how are you you know that wouldn't go miss you will do it anyway i'm just lurking around i've got to keep an eye on the time it's now 9 15 a.m i have to board at 10 and I still need to find my baby niece something. I went to her shop and I was gonna, cause she's now got hair, bless her, with like a little side party. So I thought I'd buy her some hair clips. How can they be selling hair clips for 18,000 won? So call that 15, 16 pounds for one hair clip. She is about 18, 19 months old. She'll probably break it. Like seriously, I know airports bump up prices, but come on man, that's taking the piss. This airport is so huge, I feel like I've been walking forever. 
you guys I'm so tired I'm getting so I feel exhausted I feel stupid <laughs> does that make sense you know when you're like blah, 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 blah. I feel stupid when I get this exhausted I get belligerent I get ignorant I get rude so I'm just trying to stay out of everybody's way and still trying to find something for my niece I've got a hundred thousand won left on me I don't want to come back with money I want to spend it I might go and buy some makeup or something that I don't even need because I've got so much flipping skincare what else am I supposed to do? hmm? hmm? that's the time Ooh, there's a toy shop alright if I can't find anything for her in there I'm just a stupid auntie we have a success you guys I got this little teddy bear thing which zips up and you can kind of put it inside and she is like almost two years old so she likes to play baby with other babies she's obsessed with babies babies seem to love other babies so this will be perfect for her and look how cute it is as well the girl really is a sucker for punishment I am now going back on myself to a different cosmetic store to buy something with the bit of money that I've got left and then I'm going to make my way to my gate and sit my ass down and stop trying to look for stuff I don't even need it's not like I didn't buy enough skincare as it is but let's be honest if I can get a duty free and get it cheaper why not they've got like 10 of these in the airport this one's quite a big one and I want to get something from fresh you know the uh, skincare cosmetics line so I'm gonna have a quick look in here buy what I want and be off ski so I bought some rose hydration toner something from fresh I was served by literally the most miserable bitch known to man so I said to her is this the rose toner this is her mm. I was like okay can I try it she goes mm. I was like so what do you want me to do put it on my face so you should just see the look on her face like she's got to do some work so she gets out a cotton pad at her own bloody pace wipes it on my hand and I was like mm, I'm not sure do you have any other toners so she shows me the kombucha essence and I said that is not a toner it's an essence so she goes no it's a toner and I said no it's an essence it's even called an essence it's not a toner and I said to her you know what you're not helpful just move and then on top of that I asked her how much it was she's telling me 45 US dollars can someone explain to me if this is like really ignorant of me I'm in Korea in a Korean airport why have you got the prices in US dollars so I said to her how much is it in one so she's putting it on a calculator and I was just like you know what yeah customer service is dead everyone who works in airports is so flipping miserable like just just give my shit let me go I went into another cosmetic store you know what I love Korea beautiful place wonderful people but your sales staff man as soon as I walked into another cosmetic shop hello can I help you three times literally in unison like a tune and I just said no I've just walked in I don't know if I need any help yet as soon as I start looking at something there's someone on my shoulder and I was just like can I just look please and then I said to her what's the time so she showed me her watch I was like gotta go got a flight to catch so boarding is from 10 and I am at gate 31 how many hours have I been awake now can you see what I mean when I say I'm getting belligerent I'm getting rude aren't I I'm sorry I'm just this is me in my head cattle class so I'm on the plane I'll see you guys in 12 hours 12 hours later and looking more ratchet than ever I've now been up 18 to 19 hours touched down in Heathrow I'm a bit deaf and I've got to now pick up my luggage the stupid passport thing didn't recognize my face so I had to go to the desk and the man goes well it's because you look nothing like your passport I was like my passport picture is nearly 10 years old who looks like their passport my face in there was like my hair was blonde and I had my glasses on like these machines sometimes really do just let us down anyway now I've got to make my way home after picking up my luggage I've been up 18 hours like I said boy I slept a little bit on the plane but not too much like I could do with the rest and some of my mum is some of my mum's home cooked food Hello home is anyone home? Jen 
and Jen, Ambu, Mom, Dad, everyone's at this wedding. Isn't it lovely normally to come home after a long holiday and there's someone here to greet you? There ain't no one here. All right, now I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. All right, I need the loo first. <laughs> I just realized I need the loo. And then I need to jump in the shower, eat some food, get ready, get my lingo on. <laughs> I'm tired. So I'm getting ready. I'm in a hurry. Oh my God. Look at how red my eyes are. The thing is, I'm going to a wedding. Charlena has a reputation to uphold, a reputation of fabulousness. So despite the fact that I'm gonna be late, I'm calling it fashionably late, bearing in mind, I'm starting to go a bit wild right now because I'm about to hit the 24 hour mark for how long I've been awake. I've still not eaten anything. I don't even have time to do anything to my nails or wash my hair. I was just gonna tie it into like a messy bun, put some sparkly clips in and put some fabulous earrings on. And then I've got an hour's drive ahead of me. This is Colourpop's More Better uh, lipstick that I'm wearing. And on my eyelids is the Huda Beauty Bamboo Hoops, Faux Fur, those double metallic things. And then I'm also using Gold Mine by Urban Decay on my crease area. And um, I need to put on the rest of my outfit. Okay, bye, hey, you guys. I found a Danish pastry. It's so fun. Oh my God, I fell on the floor. Three second rule. I don't even care, I'm so hungry, whatever. <laughs> I need to eat something, Frogger. It's an hour's drive, I just checked. I'm so tired, man. But I'm glad I can share this hilarious day with you guys. All right, you guys, I'm ready to rock, ready to roll. Got an hour's drive to Epsom race course now to at least get the end of my cousin's wedding reception. How do you like my outfit? Do you recognize this from like a couple of years ago when I did this Indian wedding guesty makeup tutorial? I haven't actually worn it since. I think it looks all right. I just didn't have time to do my hair, wash it. So I've stuck like some clips in it in the back and it'll have to do. So I made it in one piece. This is Epsom race course. My cousin's up there. <laughs> you guys, what a drive. My feet are numb, my feet are dead. I'm so tired. Oh, mashallah, look at my cousin. So beautiful. I literally drove over an hour to be here while they were leaving, then doing the ruksati where everybody was crying. Oh, that's my camera strap. Um, yeah, but my aunt and my uncle and my cousins are happy that I showed my face, even if it was for a little while, it was worth it. It was a cousin of mine whose wedding I couldn't miss. I've known her since the day she was born. And um, now I need to make my way home. How long? I'm home now. So I just ate my mum's food. There is nothing more amazing than your mum's home cooked food. I don't know how long I've been awake now, 28, 29 hours. I need to clean my face and then I need to get ready for bed. But my room is in a complete dip from me getting ready for, for me get, from me getting ready for the wedding earlier. As we always do, we leave the place in a tip as we rush out the door. But then I realise I have to come back and tidy up now because there's nowhere for me to lie down, which is why I'm sitting on my couch watching TV.